in order to identify what we call open intelligence in this training, just stop thinking. So we can all do that right now. And admittedly, it's, it's, it would be for a very short moment, but just stop thinking, stop describing. Obviously, thoughts and sensations almost immediately come back. But in that brief moment when you stop thinking, what do you identify in your experience? So just do it again and stop thinking. And you might, and the next thought might be, I can't stop thinking. How do I stop thinking? So stop, stop describing. Now th th there's an undeniable alertness and openness. It might be quite subtle, a presence. Now th this is what we call open intelligence in the training. And it doesn't matter what you call it. You can call it whatever you like. So you already have it. You already have what we're talking about here. We're not giving it to you. You already have it. So the, the, the very simple practice of the balanced view training, the only practice is, is to recognize open intelligence for short moments, repeated many times until it becomes continuous. And what that means, and this is totally amazing, is that your emotions, your thoughts, your experiences, the people, the places and the things in your life they provide you with the opportunity to practice that simple instruction. So when, you f when depression comes up, you can stop and you can relax and acknowledge open intelligence for a short moment. It's not about holding open intelligence uh, in, in your attention field, because that's impossible. And then naturally the, the next thought will come, the depression might just come back, so then you take another short moment. Now we can do a fun experiment here just to show you how difficult it is to hold things in place. So you may well have experiences in your life that, you know, oh my God, I've been depressed all day. Oh my God, I've had a headache all day. Oh my God, my boyfriend didn't shut up all day. But what, what you'll find is that that's impossible. You know, it's impossible to be depressed continuously. It's impossible to be happy continuously. So let's do our experiment. It's called the vegetable experiment. <laughs> Okay, so this side of the room is the big red tomatoes. Your, you, you, this side is the big orange carrots, okay? And when I say go, you have to think of only a big red tomato, only a big uh, orange carrot, and see how long it is before another thought or sensation comes into your experience. And nobody is allowed to think of an aubergine. <laughs> if, you, if you think of an aubergine, you have to leave. Okay, so are you ready? So tomato, carrot... And, uh, and just see what happens. How long can you hold on to your vegetable? And you, you, you can't have, absolutely can't have carrots and you absolutely can't have tomatoes. Okay, so are you ready? So three, two, uh, your carrot, um, tomato, okay. Okay, go, go. It's, it's impossible. It's, uh, it's, it's it, uh, uh, tomato, carrot, orange, aubergine. Leek, <laughs> pumpkins. Ugh. It's just, uh, and then, and then, and then there's a sensation, and I hear the sound, and 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 and, and the the dynamicness of the display. So, so your thoughts, your sensations, your emotions, everything. It's it, it's it's all it's all a, 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 an amazing flow. It's just seamless, completely seamless. You cannot hold on to your vegetable without something coming almost immediately in. Now, the, 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 the ridiculous thing is, your depression, or whatever your pet negative data is, is no different to that imaginary vegetable. You, you, the only reason you think it is very, very powerful is because you've s sat there thinking of a big red tomato for 40 years, going, oh my God, it's a red tomato, what can I do? It's my parents' fault, oh my God, oh my God, I'm bad, I'm bad, it's, it's, it's my thousand past lives, that's why I can't get rid of this red tomato. But you see, all, all the while, there, there is nothing there. And th this applies to uh, your, your um, emotions, your thoughts, your hopes, your fears. They, don't, they do not have an independent nature. If they did, you could take them out in, and put them in a jar. This is Adrian's depression. You can't take the tomato out of, out of, your, out of your head and make pasta sauce. So that was just a, 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 just an introduction to, um, no, just to, to how thoughts and emotions, they flow on by effortlessly. 
and that you know you don't need to do anything you can't hold on to anything you can't get rid of anything nothing has an independent nature so if you're working on something if you're working on on what what vegetable is appearing in your head you're essentially working on on something that has no independent nature it does not exist in and of itself and if you work on nothing it's it's a lot of effort and you get no results which is why it's just so frustrating so 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 that's a really simple practice so you already have open intelligence now thankfully it's not just that stat practice there's we 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 have trainings and many of you today are, are, are participating maybe for the first time and in the trainings we just share the language of open intelligence it 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 elicits the the direct experience of what we're describing here and what we're describing here is that you you are okay no matter what is going on in your experience then we have trainers um amazing trainers um who are there just to support you in bringing this into your own experience it's not about us uh making you believe something some new philosophy it's a, it's about you just testing what we suggest and testing and seeing what happens and we'll support you in that so we we only share our own experience 